morning everybody it's DJP today's video I'm going to stress in great detail that there is space for all of your work all of it if you like painting only Appaloosas there is space for you if you like painting only bays there is space for you if you like sculpting cartoon horse characters there is space for you. There is no rules here in the model horse community and I don't want you to follow any arbitrary rules that you make for yourself. You are allowed to sculpt cartoon, realistic, or halfway in between. You are allowed to release those resins and be proud of them. I don't want you ever to hold yourself back from creating or sharing or releasing any of your artwork because you feel like it won't fit in with the niche hobby way. Models that are super realistic generally sell better, have a wider audience because that's the way the hobby wants things. But people love vintage briars. They like the original old mold. In my personal journey, I put a lot of pressure on myself for creating original sculpture. I thought there's no way I can sculpt like some of the top dog artists and create something so realistic that would do well in the show ring. So I created Orin and people still message me today asking if I could cast him because he's so unique and dynamic and has the essence and soul of a horse, but maybe not all of the anatomically correct portions. So there is space for that sculpture, there's space for your sculpture. Fable is not realistic at all. She has a lot of stylized features. People love her because I made her. They love her because she speaks to them in some way. Frit? Not super realistic either. Jorg, Bacillus, all of my work is not top dog standard. I am not a photocopier. I don't print a photo of a horse and sculpt it exactly like that horse. I put my own twist into it. I put my own style, my own character, and that makes it unique. That makes it feel like it has soul and it is alive. And people love that. And they have bought all of my pieces not being pristine realism. This mold is not realistic. He's not realistic at all. But I love this model so much that I have like eight of them here on the mold. It doesn't have to be perfect for your people to like it and people to buy it. So I don't ever want you to limit yourself to think that you can't paint or sculpt like one of the top dog artists because their work is so realistic. I want you to create because you want to create and you want to release it and even if it isn't 100% what everybody's into right now, create something new that no one's seen and I promise you if you just believe in yourself and commit to what you're creating, you will be surprised by the outcome and you will be surprised at how many people support it and love it just as much as you do. So get out there, keep creating and don't hold yourself back. If you can't sculpt super realistic yet, don't limit yourself to not sculpt. Sculpt anyways, focus on the other attributes that you can add to the sculpture and the anatomy will come and eventually you'll be sculpting so realistic you won't even recognize your own work because you commit to yourself, because you believe in yourself and because you keep sculpting regardless of the outcome. Thank you so much for watching. This has been DJB. I hope you create all of the horses or artwork of your wildest dreams.